Welcome back to the Pokemon Crew. Yes, the Pokemon Crew, where we try to be the very best that no one ever was. Ba, ba, ba. Thank you for your continued support on this series. We hit over 1,200 views on the last one, and I think around 140 likes around there. So almost to that 151. But I'm gonna keep it high, guys. I'm gonna keep expectations a little bit high. Can you please go ahead and hit smash that like button, guys, so we can get it up to 151 likes in honor of the original 151 Pokemon. Now guys, I want to say thank you, thank you first and foremost, uh, because recently we have hit the 5k subscriber mark on this channel, and that is just astronomical. I've been on YouTube for, I think, about a year and a half now, and I never thought that I would get this much, and, you know, some YouTubers, they do, you know, like a thank you Q&A, or they do a special, and I think that's okay, I've done those in the past before, but they always never get, like, a, you know, huge amount of views, so we thought... Why not say the thank you in the video that gets the most views? So I'm gonna go ahead and say the thank you right here. Thank you guys so much. Every one of you guys, all 5,000 of you guys, you guys are amazing, you guys. I have the best sub base in the world. It's always so positive, always so, so um, supportive. In the comment section, you guys just seem like some really, really cool cats, some really, really cool weirdos. And it's, it's really, it's, it's really humbling and uh, uh, it gives me a warm feeling inside, I guess is the best way to describe it. And as, you know, a special for that 5k, I want to do something special inside the Pokemon career mode. I, that is going to be my thank you for you guys. It means something because you guys have essentially given me something and I feel like that should be represented in a way inside of the career mode. So what we're going to do, we did this in 15 when I hit 4k and every single time we hit a new benchmark, we're going to be adding in a special player in the form of a Pokemon egg. A delicious, delicious Pokemon egg. And inside this egg is a player. It's a player that we're going to be adding in the next episode, guys. And this player is going to be, you know, higher rated than 70, but under the age of 21. Very supple. Uh, you know, it's a baby. It's a baby. It's a baby Pokemon. But has the potential of over 80. So there's going to be people that are just astronomical in here. And every single time we hit you know, like a new marker or something, we're going to be going ahead and um, hatching a new Pokemon egg in this career mode, so it's something interactive. You guys gave me this, guys. You, the fan, gave me this Pokemon. And because of its 5k, we're going to be pulling five names out of this hat. But we are going to be saving this to the end of the episode, guys. You know, a little bit of a cliffhanger right now. We got some games going on. The first one being against Vitesse, the, the I think the, the Netherlands team. We gotta go up against them to see if we continue on in the cup run, the preseason cup run. So let's go ahead and get into that. But first and foremost, you guys voted in the Wonder Trading and by over a 20 vote, Nabil Fakir ran away with it. Absolutely dump trucked uh, uh, Vincent Abubakan and Harry Kanazard. And then you to Brandon Foley. He is the sub that came up with this idea. And I did not give you proper dab, son. So there you go. There is your name. And for any of you guys who come up with ideas for this crew, I will go ahead and give you some dab. Give you some loud and proud up on here. Of course, we got the Mexican Spanish uh, announcers who aren't even Mexican still on this because it just makes them more awesome let's be honest there there's no better there is no better announcer in the game right now as we start off gabby gold gabrielle onto the ball stops onto it what does he do he waits for the overland pass goody going gabrielle to the gabrielle connection gabriel marquinhos kicks it in and oliviero he says not yet good sir i am not transferred out novel fakir who he can go fakir himself because baby i just go to go up against batiste and uh, guys, I'm, I've been struggling with the safety, but I'm getting better at wall class right here. As you can see right here, driven through pass, not, no, the driven A pass right there, and finds it right onto the foot of Oliviera, and there's absolutely nothing the defense or the keeper can do with that ear post. OP! And there we go, lads, the Pokemons! We are on the board, and we kept on attacking Sergio over here. Going over to the other Marquinhos, who just, look at that, I do the speed burst away, knock it into the middle, but this time no one there to follow it up, and now Umbola onto the ball, and now we continue on in the second half now, Gabrielle through on goal this is gabby goal this time what does he do speed boost all the way through knocks it on the way and yeah i'm not quite 
<laughs> doing it with the speed boost. But I just want to see, show you guys that ah, I was that close in this game, just that close, getting into dangerous positions, you know, but I just couldn't make that final pass to put this team away. And you know what happens, guys. When you don't put a team away, it can get uh, a little bit dirty. Look at this over-the-top ball to Nathan, who plays it to a Duda. But we are there, and we are able to knock it away. Thank goodness, but now a dangerous header into the box. We can't get to it. Woo! And we barely get away, but no. Look at the through ball of Dream. Olivier, not the fastest guy, but I use him the speed boost, the double tap up. He knocks it into the middle. But once again, we cannot finish. And now Nathan, the Brazilian, the greatest Nathan Brazilian of all time, knocks it into the middle. Cannot. Oh, my goodness. How did Baco not finish right there? And it was getting tense. But oh, my goodness. Through ball of dreams. And can he finish? He cannot. The near post OP doesn't work that time. We knock it into the box. And so many freaking chances. So many chances to put the teeth away. And we could not find a way. And this, this. I mean, wait, Baco should have scored right there, but this is just a heartening 85th minute, guys. We were holding on. We had so many amazing chances. And we don't put Fatisa away. And as you can see, deflection off of the booty side of our center back right there. Not even a deserved goal. Oh, unfortunate, our keeper had no chance on that deflection. And that's how it goes. And with 85 minutes uh, in, we only got about, you know, seven minutes to do it up. But we were going to still get chances. Grimaldo lays it off. And that would end it. And we're not even going to extra time, lads. It is going straight to the penalty kickoff. Oliviera, can he be a hero for us? He's going to go ahead and step over here. I got in the green. I'm knocking it down. Oh, not the best of penalties, but it goes in. And now I need to keep this out right here. He steps up. He does one way. And I dive one way and he kicks it the other. And now we're Renato, our central defensive midfielder, is our second best shot taker, penalty taker, and the goalie frozen to the spot. And now Vaco, the man who missed earlier, can he do something right here? He steps up, he jinx, and we save it! There we go, Vlad, the impaler, you animal. You go, but now Lima has to keep the pressure on. He does the goalie, dives the right way, but it is above him. And now can Vanderlei, or as I call him, the Brazilian Vandersar. What does he do? A second save! A monster save, and I'll tell you right there. <laughs> I told him to dive the other way, but Vander, you know, the Brazilian Vandersar, he apparently knew better. And look at this guy. He looks like Speroni from, like, Chinese Sports' crew. But now, Guvinho, Guvinho, Guvinho is a hero today. There we go, lads. We advance on the penalty shootout. And it wasn't the easiest win. We had so many freaking chances in this game. We couldn't find that final ball to kill Batiste off, but we do kill them off in the Champions Trophy Tournament. And we will advance in this tournament, young man. So well done on you guys. All right, guys. So it's a penalty shootout, but we still won it, which means we are going to go ahead and earn ourselves a pull out of their starting 11 of Batiste. And Batiste is a pretty talented team. They got, you know, future England striker star Dominic Solank. There's a guy in there, a Brazilian named Nathan with a potential of 85. That's who I want to pull, but I'm only getting one pull out of here right now. Let's go ahead, get into that tall grass right here. And if you guys are unfamiliar with the rules of this career, I'll go ahead and leave a link right here. Bing, you can go ahead and click on that. But it's pretty much every single time we beat a team, we get uh, to get a player off the roster. And I'll be explaining the rules down below right here. So you can just follow along as you will. But we just got a little bit of the nip luck. And we got a little bit of the hat luck. I'm going to turn it around right here. For the Pokemon luck. Who are you? Come on. Be Nathan. The Brazilian. You are. You are. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Nathan, this highly skilled Brazilian teenager, can play the cam, right wing, and left wing position. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves with a massive potential. Already skilled in dribbling, ball control, but also possesses high movement speed and acceleration. He will be a deadly force. 72 overall with a potential of 85. He's a Brazilian named Nathan. There is nothing greater on this planet. Young Lance, we're gonna go ahead and put him into the Pokeballs. Get in. Yeah. Transfer him in this window. Mm. 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 That's fire punch. That was a fire.
fire punch. All right, guys. So I got a little bit too hyped because when I went ahead and I looked it up, Nathan the Brazilian, unfortunately, is on loan at Fatih, so we can't even get him till next year. Really, really heartbreaking. But alas, uh, an amazing talent. You guys saw right there. But not an amazing talent. Oh my goodness, Pulsit is in. He cuts it back across, lays it, and oh my god, what a terrible, terrible giveaway in the midfield. And Yusuf pulls in the absolute best, maybe one of the best, if not the best, striker. In FIFA 15, makes me pay, and the, I'm just... The passing, guys. The passing. I'm, I'm not quite there yet, but what I am right here, cutting inside the wing plate is real. Find somehow finds his way to Lucas Lima right there. The, the, oh my goodness! The speed boost on the wing, and then cutting inside, and then finding that driven pass to the middle. Somehow get past the defender, and Lucas Lima, our highly rated cam right here, and look, and oh my goodness, splitting two defenders, driven pass. That driven pass in that final box. I think that's gonna be my killer ball right there. It's resulted in two goals this episode, and that is what you gotta do to beat that world-class difficulty. Lucas Lima going ahead and evening it up. It's only 15 minutes in. This might be a bond burner. Ladies and gents, hold on to your butts. Because we got something coming for you. Grimaldo now onto the ball, playing it over to Mbolo. Mbolo goes ahead with showing the strength, laying it off. Lucas Lima, and then, oh, just earning himself a corner, but nothing will result to that. Should have done better. Then Oliveira, right now, he's saying, can he do something? A beautiful little touch right there. We play Gabriel. Gabri goal is in on goal. And that is a panel, boys. That is a panel. Beautiful, beautiful play. A little bit of a fortuitous bounce to find, you know, the boots of our Barcelona players. But clearly, he <laughs> just, like, not even playing the ball. <laughs> on this. Like, some penalties are soft. But that one straight up, just like straight up, uh, that was that was the takeout. We are going ahead and give Gabby gold. He's the man who earned the pen. We're gonna give on number ten this pen. Where is he gonna go? You already know. You already know. We're going top right. We always go top right. Tell him, tell him he's giving the Ronaldo. And look at that. He's got that nice little haircut going on. And we have a 2-1 lead uh, against RB Leipzig. But sometimes the computer on. The computer just on World Class wants to go Barcelona on you. When they want to go Barcelona on you, I can't. I mean, look at this. This is RB Leipzig. I think they're a Division II German side, and they went full-blown Barcelona, tiki-taka, all over our faces. Oh, what a goal. What a freaking goal right there, guys. That was some beautiful stuff. I ain't even... I was a little bit mad at that. I was like, come on, this is BS. How are they playing like Barcelona all of a sudden? But could we find the killer ball? No. Once again, failing it. We're getting into good positions. But if anybody's got tips, I am all ears. Renato with the shot from distance, forcing a save from the RV Leipzig. Keep it there. Now we have a corner, and we are money on the corners right here. Lifting it over the top. We're going to go ahead and lay it off to Lima, who fires... But fires wide of the post. 75th minute. We're going to go ahead and try to find some danger. Do I go for the early pass? No, I cut inside. Burst past two defenders. Grimaldo still going. Grimaldo fires the shot. But it's right at the keeper. And it is death. 93rd minute right here. Could he be a hero? Steps up. Fires. And Sting sails it over the top. And for the second time in this episode. I'm sorry, guys. Or maybe I don't apologize. This is... I'm doing everything that I can to win, guys. I'm doing everything, but this is it. We are going to decide this tournament. And I put it into a little bit of the orange, and it's saved. I put it into the orange, so I didn't want to put too much power onto it. And we are down in the panels, and it is not looking good. But, oh, we guess the right way in. The keeper cannot get there in time. But we have to make this right here a little bit better. And Lima, what a penalty top right bins right there. Now, can we get something going? I'm playing a little bit of mind games. Can the... Can... Oh, my goody goodness. We do. We, no, we cannot. <laughs> and now, Serginho. Serginho steps up. Oh, still in the yellow. But we do sink it. We're still... And boys, we can come back right near. Can the British Vanderstar get something on their number 10? And a great save! A poor penalty, but a save nonetheless. And we are tied. This is it. This is for the preseason championship. There we go. Curvanio steps up and it's saved. I didn't put enough power on it. And now we have to make a save. Boyd stepping up for us. Can Vanderstar get to it? It's off the post. What a ridiculous penalty shoot up. And now... 
Our right back steps up to possibly give us the lead. Can I get it in the green? I was concentrating so hard. A little bit to the yellow. I was scared, but the keeper just falls to his knees. And now, right here, Bruno of RB Leipzig up against the Brazilian Van der Sar. They step up. I'm going a little bit lefty. I'm going a little bit righty. He goes right down the middle and bangs off of the crossbar and goes in. Now Donald Brian Bolo stepping up. Will he be the GOAT or will he float it? He floats it into the top right corner and it is game on right here. Sudden death. This is for all the Benjamins of preseason. But still interesting. I still want that silverware. Can we make it safely to the floor panel? And the, the Brazilian, I keep wanting to call him the British Van der Sar. The Brazilian Van der Sar goes ahead and is a hero this day. Whew, we started behind and we fell behind a couple times in that panel, but we did it. We did it, boys, and I, I, I was in their heads. I was in their heads, and we go ahead and we win the Champions Trophy, and we get a little bit more funds for the window. All right, lads, another penalty shootout to go ahead and advance in the cup. But, guys, we have it right here. That means one pull out of this roster, this RB Leipzig roster. They used to have Zivkovic from last year, but they have some amazing talent still. I personally want Yusuf Poulsen, who is just an absolute animal in FIFA 15. And I called it last time. I called getting Nathan last time. So let's go ahead and grab him. Let's get a Yusuf Poulsen right here. We're going to go ahead get in the hat luck right here get a little bit of the nip luck and we're gonna go ahead turn the hat backwards and we're gonna get right here Yusuf Paulson give me that Paulson you are ah. <laughs> Hustenberg the sand true Pokemon surprisingly good pace combined with decent defensive stats Hustenberg is a solid all-round defensive Pokemon Hustenberg. All right, left back CDM. He's got a potential of 75, so he's halfway decent, and he's young. Not all that great, and we need we do need some defensive midfielders. So not a bad pull, not a bad pull. Wanted to get used to Pulson, but you can't win them all. Let's go ahead, boom, add him to the roster and get some depth into this team. But now is the time, guys, where we go ahead and see which Pokemons will be hatching from this egg in here right now are some amazingly talented players. We'll go ahead and we'll pull five out of the bunch. These guys aren't even rolled up. We're just gonna go ahead, pull them out. I'm gonna show them to you right off of the bat. Five in a row. And the first guy is, ooh, Danny Ceballos. Danny Ceballos, the Ella Kid Pokemon. This youngster can play all across the midfield and has a massive potential of 87. Has great dribbling, ball control, vision, and passing. Combined with decent movement stats, at age 18, he can become one of the best midfielders in the world. Get the focus on that 87 potential Danny Ceballos. This freaking Spaniard over here can play left mid, CM Cam right mid. That is a great way to start it up. Let's go ahead and put him in the hat right now. Let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper in here. Not a bad way to start out. 87. Ooh. That is going to be tough to beat. And the next one up, you are... All right. Tapia. Granto Tapia, the Tauros-type Pokemon. With the size of 6'2 and possessing 84 stamina and 82 strength with 70 stand tackle, he can put out fires in the midfield while driving forward with his excellent short passing and vision. This Peruvian central midfielder can literally do it all. But Tapia, center mid, 71 overall with an 81 potential. Center midfielder, not bad, not bad. Go ahead and add him to the hats as well. And we get three more. I don't know, it's going to be hard to top an 87 potential player. We need some defensive. Yo, can we get like a CDM or something? We're pulling this guy right here. You are, ooh, FIFA 14. FIFA 14, no, people know this man right here, Zachary Bakali. Zakira Bakali, the Pichu Pokemon. Incredible acceleration, speed, agility, and balance. This little demon was a force to be reckoned with in FIFA 14. Now with his return, he is still one of the best young winners to buy. Back in the game after a year hiatus, because he wasn't in the game anymore. Recently transferred though, so we will have to wait until the January window if you guys do select him. But, there we go, Bakali, 19 years old, 84 potential, not a bad addition 
Oh, oh man, we're just getting all right there. Oh, we did get a center mid. Let's see it. Let's let me try to dig really deep in here. Get something from the bottom of the list. Ooh, let's pull. You out right here. Right here, you are! Ah. Uh, Malinkovich Savage. Malinkovich Savage, the bronze Pokemon. Standing at a massive 6 foot 4 and possessing 84 strength, Malinkovich is a force in the center defensive midfield. 69 overall with a potential of 81. So not bad, not bad guys. That makes 4. So we get one more out of here. One more out of the bunch. Let's dig super, super deep. And this one, let's dig out of the main pile. And you. And you are right here. Ooh, interesting. We get a Uruguayan cam. De Arcesta? De Arcesta. The Hitman Top Pokemon. A combination of high agility and balance, this Uruguayan Cam is highlighted by a 5 star weak foot and a massive 85 potential. So you check that out. 85 potential, guys. Massive, massive potential. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put up the five names right here. You guys are gonna go ahead and vote in the Strong Poll down below. If I had my personal vote, I would definitely go for, you know, the 87 potential in Caballos. But, if you're looking at the team composition right now and our needs, a CDM would be nice. So maybe, you know, Milinkovic could be good there. Those are my top choices. But I'm a man of the people. You guys are the one that gave me this delicious, delicious egg. And you guys will decide which delicious, delicious Pokemon. No, not delicious. I'm not going to eat him. What am I talking about? <laughs> Uh, which delightful, beautiful, beautiful Pokemon will be hatching out of this egg next week. Go ahead and vote in the straw poll down below and we will find out in the next episode. And then who's that Pokemon? It was Anthony Martial, aka the next Terry Henry. A lot of you guys got it, but these are the first three. The vlogging whoop a -hoo! I'm sorry. <laughs> George Zacalis, oh my baby baby, and my boy, Zadinho. FC, Zadinho FC, guys, is a, is a brand new FIFA YouTuber out there. Well, I've seen his stuff. He's good. He's upcoming. Go ahead and check him out. Check out smaller career mode YouTubers. And, uh, yeah, show him some love. Tell you, tell him that uh, that be mine sent you. Anyway, guys, enjoy the show. And with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this episode of the Pokemon Career Mode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and rock smash that like button. And, yeah. That's it for me, be modest. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself, stay humble, and be weird!